What's up everyone, welcome back to the vlog. Uh, I missed about two days for, of uploading. I have a new schedule now, I just wanna let you guys know I will be posting Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Today's video kind of changed. I planned on pulling the interior out of the FC and painting it the same gray as the interior of my FD, as you can see here, and kind of like back down there, I don't know if you can tell, but I randomly was like, oh, I'm gonna put my FC up and lift and see what it looks like under the car. I was having really bad clunking issues and I thought it was the diff, but it was kind of confusing because it would, when I would do donuts, sometimes it would be like a welded diff, which is what it is, and then all of a sudden it would open up and be one tire fire and one tire fire, I don't know if you guys know what that means, but it just means where only one wheel is doing a burnout, not both of them together. And so I decided to put it up on the lift, see what was going on, and what I ended up finding was, I believe, just maybe, I might have a blown axle. <laughs> like, I'm gonna try and show, like see if you guys can see that. Axle boots ripped open, all the bearings are destroyed in there and falling out. There's axle, or there's grease all up on the chassis, it is not good, but honestly, I'm very happy about that. That was best case scenario. Turbo 2 diffs are not cheap. They're usually like five, six hundred bucks. An axle, I'm sure, is gonna be no more than a hundred dollars. So that saves me a lot of money and makes me very happy because I do not want to have to buy a Turbo 2 diff. So the new plan for today is Dustin Williams hit me up and he was saying that he wants to drag race. He thinks that his Evo 8 with an Evo 9 motor that makes 500 horsepower will beat this sexy beast right here. I mean like, he does have all wheel drive, so off the line he should be faster, but I have a different style of transmission in my car where I can flat shift and just pull it into gear, so I should be able to shift faster and top end, I rev higher and make more top end power. So it should be a close race, it'll be cool. Uh, I need to get some different tires because I do not want him to win. <laughs> he he does have an advantage and he should win, but we will see what happens. That's gonna be this Friday at the Qualcomm Stadium in San Diego, California. If you guys wanna come out and say what's up, go for it. But now I'm going to reassemble the car. I'm going to put the rear over fenders back on, the rear bumper, and like reattach the side skirt down here and I think I'm gonna pull the battery out of the FC since I'm not gonna drive that for a little bit since I need the axle and put it in this car. Just like that, most of the kit is back on. The only thing that I do not have on there are the two bumpers over there, the front and rear. I'm not gonna put the rear bumper on because if you saw my video like two months ago or something, I have two step on my car and it shoots massive flames. So the exhaust is like pretty much on the floor and when the bumper's off, flames literally come out to like all the way out here. And I think it'll just look cool. And on top of it, really, it makes it easier to load my car in the trailer without the bumpers and life's just a lot easier in general when they're not on. Front bumper is absolutely destroyed. First day that I drove with it on the track, it fell off because I didn't secure it good enough. And the rear bumper, the wrap is just peeling up. I got it done by someone and it was a sponsorship deal but it just didn't really work out. Uh, quality wasn't where I would have liked it to be. So I will probably end up wrapping my car with my, by myself or with Sheldon and hopefully it turns out pretty well. But I need to take the battery out of this car now, throw it in there and then go for a little drive, make sure everything's good. So when I was pulling this battery out, I remembered when I bought it, they were telling me that it sat for a while and they wrote down the serial number in the system. 
I see this battery says that it was made like 616. I bought it this year, so it's 2018, so it was on the shelf for two years. And I was telling them that like, what if I lose the receipt because Napa doesn't take down personal information, I guess. And I called them two days ago because I couldn't find my receipt and then that's when they told me that they don't take down information. But since they wrote that down, I should be able to get a new one under warranty since I believe they have like a three or five year warranty. I'm gonna try and fire up the car and hopefully it starts. Haven't started this thing in a few months. So I'm like kind of nervous, kind of excited. I forgot how loud this car is just idling. I have a really bad exhaust leak under the car and I promised myself that I wouldn't drive it until I fix that exhaust leak, but I'm gonna drive it anyways. I might try and get that exhaust leak fixed before I take it to the track on Friday. Maybe I'll throw it up on the lift for a little bit before I leave today and check it out and see how bad it is, see exactly where it's leaking from. If maybe it's just like loose and there's a gasket or if there's actually like a hole in my exhaust. And I'm super excited the car just started. I haven't heard this thing start in a long time. I've only been driving my street car, which is fun, but it's like super quiet and like more of like obviously a street car and this is like the race car. When I like look at both of them and compare them, it's like so cool to see like how much effort and work and time went into this car and I can like appreciate it so much when I look at this and then I look at like a street car. All the little things make such a big difference on it. Probably about 45 minutes later, no, okay, realistically like 30, I finally got the battery in. Changing a battery in a race car is not easy at all because you have to deal with all of these tubes that do not move. You deal with a seat that does not move. Everything is stationary. So like I had to slide the battery through here and then somehow crawl through that space and then get my body back in there. Was not the easiest task, but it, the battery is now secured down. I need to get some electrical tape to tape up the positive terminal, but I'm fine to drive right now. So I'm gonna go take the car out. Probably gonna die because of the exhaust fumes. Like, it is no joke. Last time I did a burnout in the car, my eyes were watering so bad I couldn't see anything. So we'll see how bad it is. If it's really bad, I'll just turn around. But I only plan on going like a mile there and a mile back anyways. I'm letting the FD warm up outside. It is a very loud car and there is an exhaust leak like I said already. So I don't wanna make the whole shop smell like race car fumes because it ends up giving me a bad headache and it's annoying. So this is the problem with my exhaust leak. 
This whole thing right here is supposed to be scrunched together and I guess from just it getting hot and wearing out and probably like scraping my exhaust, it expanded and now it has like a crack right there. I don't know if you can see that and then like a crack here and I believe on the top it's cracked all the way around. Um, that is the exhaust leak. I need to get that fixed ASAP. And then I found this. I was wondering why my car was leaking oil but I found out that it's power steering fluid. You can see it's like dripping a lot right there and it's coming down and then going straight to the floor. Those are the two main things that are wrong right now. I've been needing a power steering rack for like maybe a year and I just haven't done it and it's slowly getting to that point now where it's leaking a lot of fluid. Like if I have my car sitting, there's like a little tiny puddle. So it's getting kind of annoying to do that. I believe I'm gonna have to drop my front subframe. Also, I cleaned out this side of the garage and now I have a couch here. I'm gonna be putting a coffee table, a TV, just so it's like a super chill hangout spot for everyone when I have friends come over and they help me with my car, they can also hang out. I'm gonna try and go to Napa right now and get that battery exchanged, but that's pretty much the update with the FD. It is now running. I have a few things to do to get ready for Friday. Like I said, if you guys want to come down, it's going to be at Qualcomm Stadium in San Diego. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.